How's it going guys? In this video, we're gonna be walking through how to use AWS Lambda, and we're gonna be making a little calculator app to walk through how you can create a Python project with some external files to reference in Lambda. And so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the AWS Management Console, I'm gonna just type in Lambda up here, and we're gonna open this guy, and it's gonna take us to the Lambda dashboard. I'm gonna click on Create Function, and I'm gonna use a blueprint here just to make our life a little bit easier while we get started. And if you type in hello world, uh, you'll see a little hello world Python example right here. And I'm gonna click this box and click configure. And I'm gonna give this a name. We'll call this, you know, VS Calc. And uh, execution rules will leave everything else the same. And we don't need to change anything from here. Uh, you can see it's already using the Python 3.7 as its runtime. Uh, and we're gonna click on create function. So very easy to get up and started. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a sec. All right, and so now we can see that we've got our little VS Calc Lambda function that's just been created in AWS. And this is the stuff that they give you to play with. Um, you can see that they are importing the JSON package and they're using it to parse the event that comes in. Uh, and so that event is written in JSON, which is the reason why you need it. I'm going to, uh, remove this commented line because I think it's cool to see how um, you can see this stuff happen. Um, but basically, whenever you make a change, you need to make sure to do control S uh, to save the file and then hit on deploy. Otherwise, uh, this thing won't actually make the changes that you think it does. We're going to hit test and um, we're going to have to create a new test event. Um, so we're basically specking the JSON payload that we're going to be sending to our Lambda function right here. Uh, I'm going to call this, you know, just uh, test event one, uh, very original. Um, and we're gonna stick with this little JSON payload that they've already defined for us, hit save. And so now that we've defined this guy, um, I'm going to now test our Lambda function and we're gonna see that it gives us uh, our execution results. And so um, what happened here is the first thing we did was print out the actual event content. Um, so we're parsing through that JSON uh, and then we're just Iterating, this, iterating through this, uh, and we can see that it always rounds up, so we're gonna build for three milliseconds, um, and we're also build for the amount of memory that our function used, um, and so we've allocated 128 megabytes to this. Uh, it's kind of like if you're working in a production environment and you're seeing that your functions are maxing the RAM uh, that they need, you can up it, um, but it will cost you more because you do pay by the gigabyte second, or however they measure it, um, but basically, ideally, your code uses the most or the least amount of memory possible. Um, but for the sake of us doing a little calculator here, I'm gonna go back to this guy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, right click my folder and I'm going to just click on a new file. And I'm going to make a new Python file in my project. I'm gonna call this adder.py. And within adder.py, I'm going to just define an add function, it'll take a variable x, a variable y, and its job is to return x plus y. Uh, so pretty simple. I'm going to hit control s to save it. Um, and then what I'm going to also do here is I'm going to go to my lambda function uh, file. And in here, I'm going to type in import adder. I'm sorry, um, from adder, import add so that I can bring in that add logic that I just defined in that separate file within my project. Um, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, just test if this is working initially. So I'm going to stop printing all this stuff. We're just gonna delete it. Um, and what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to uh, make use of the F strings in Python that I really like. So we're gonna say uh, the sum of two and three is and then pass in add and two and three. And now that I've done that, I'm going to save, hit control S on the keyboard, I'm going to hit deploy. And I'm also gonna to wanna to now uh, hit test. And we can see that it's still loading in that same initial JSON payload that we've defined. Um, but now what it's doing is it's uh, also printing out uh, the sum of two and three by calling that uh, add method that we've defined in adder.py, which is cool. So now what you can do uh, to get a little bit more fancy here with our uh, Lambda function is we can 
add in some logic to start parsing this event. So um, if I configure this event, I'm gonna change these things around a little bit. So instead of key one, I'll call it X. And instead of key two, I'll call that Y. And instead of key three, I'll call that like operation. And so I'll pass in, you know, five and six. And the operation we're gonna be doing is, we'll call it the add operation. And so I'm gonna uh, edit the JSON payload that we're sending to our Lambda function, basically our inputs. I'm gonna hit save here. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go back to this Lambda handler uh, function, and I'm going to grab those things. So X gets event, and then event is basically a JSON dictionary. So it should be living in that uh, X key. I'm gonna do the same thing for Y and op gets event op. And then I'll have a little if statement here. So if op equals equals and then we'll print this out. And uh, what we can also do here to take more advantage of the F strings is do this. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to save this file, hit on deploy, and then we're gonna hit test. And we can see that it's now telling us uh, what the input was that it received. It successfully parsed out the inputs as well as the operation. Uh, and then it also successfully added our two inputs together using the logic that we defined in the adder.py uh, method. And so that is going to wrap things up for this video, but now what we have is a very simple Lambda function that we've defined and we've created a project within the AWS console that I think is pretty cool. Uh, one last thing I wanna make note of here is that when you are uh, trying to like figure out what's going on with Lambda, something else that's very important to know is that this handler uh, parameter that you see under the runtime setting runtime settings uh, is telling you exactly what happens when we are invoking the lambda function that we're defining here. So lambda function is uh, the name of the file, the Python file that lambda is going to look for. And then the dot lambda handler is going to be the uh, method name within this Python file that's been called. So uh, that is why uh, we have this handler present. So if you modify your handler, because you can hit edit and then change these things, like if you had a different file, like if I had a, a run.py file, I would change that to run. And if I had a method within run.py called go or whatever, you know, I would, I would type in go as that second uh, part of this input. So um, I just wanna make that clear with you guys. I think that's important to note. Um, but as you can see, uh, we can get up and running now, running our Python just directly with AWS. And so this is what we call function as a service. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to wrap things up here, but let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you all for watching and be well.